of uh, dry land training where we imitate what we do on the ice but we do it off the ice. There's another portion of running and cycling um, that we do that builds our cardio base. And then we also hit up the weight room and make sure we get our explosive power in. All of those areas are all affected by you know, how well we warm up, how well our muscles are conditioned to, to, uh, to handle the stress that we give it. Coming in off the ice and going into one of these workouts like an explosive weight workout where we have to do a power cleans, uh, max power cleans after being on the ice for two hours and our muscles are we're warm on the ice but we got off the ice and they kind of cooled down because it's cold in there and um, we try to go do some weights and you know our muscles are locking up. I find is that it works as like you say like you have a cramp or muscle pull or some tightness, not necessarily a muscle pull but you know where you get that tightness, that tingling, then you use it and it's it goes away and instead of nursing it and holding back, but there's no way around it. You know what's coming at you. It's uh, I, I almost think of long track as it's it's like suicidal. You know you're gonna hurt, and I don't know what human being would want to go out there and try to do a sport that they know it's gonna be the most excruciating pain on the planet. But we keep going out and doing it over and over again. Short track's a little bit more fun. It has a little more excitement in it. Uh, still painful, still hurts, but uh, it's a little bit different. So a product like Cramp 911, uh, you know helps us in a situation where you know we warm up to do our training and we kind of cool down just a little bit and when we have to head back into a, another training session like weights right afterwards we're not going to be in there injuring our, our, our bodies and um, you know, deteriorating our bodies even worse than what they have already been deteriorated so um, you know it's it's there to help prevent that and help us stay on top of our game uh, when it comes time to compete because no one wants to be injured in competing.